Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to add new Asana task to Google Sheet. So imagine this, you have created a new Asana task, let's say Java programming. Okay, so a task called as Java programming has been created in Asana by you. So you have uh, created an assignee, you have set the due date and also you have set the description, a perfect Asana task. So you want to send all the task details from Asana to Google Sheet, maybe to analyze the data further or just to create a backup. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you copy all the data from Asana, sort it out and manually insert it into Google Sheet. So this is actually very tiresome or I would suggest that you bring in some automation. So here when a new task is created in Asana, it will automatically add this data to Google Sheet. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Asana and Google Sheet. So the best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Public Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and here you will find Connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Asana to Google Sheets. Asana to Google Sheets. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about make it as Asana? Okay, Asana it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new task in a project. So new task in a project is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new task is created in a project, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there is one more trigger that is change task. Now in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send uh, the data when a new task is made in the project. Okay, so just click on connect with Asana. In the new credentials, just click on connect with Asana. Okay, excellent. So it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. Okay, so when you click on OK, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. One of the blank is called as the project. So as you can see in the drop down, you will find two project product launch as well as the Java instruction. So let me take you to Asana to explain you both. So as you can see, these are the two projects I have Java instruction and product launch. So basically all the projects that is present here is being simply reflected here. There are two projects here. That is why public connect is showing two projects. So any data that is present here is being reflected here. So what if, what if I create a new project? So I'm just going to create a new project from scratch. So the name of the project is uh, Python, Python errors fix. Okay, so uh, just a random project, Python errors fix. And let me just click on create project. Okay, so in this project, we will be dealing with about the errors of Python. So we have created a new project called as Python errors fix. So let me go to public connect and let me just refresh this. So when I click on refresh, I can expect to find this newly created project called as Python error fix in the drop down. So let me just refresh this. Okay, so let us check in the drop down. Yes, we do have a project called as Python errors fix. So my point is very simple. Any variation that is bought here will be reflected here because at this point Asana is now integrated with public connect. So let's select Python errors fix. So basically we are going to receive the data from this particular project. Now in the usual cases, what we do here is when we select a trigger event, when, when we connect with public connect, we basically copy this webhook URL and paste it into the triggering software. But in this case, all you have to do is just 
just click on save and send test request so when we click on save and send test request we will be integrated with this particular project so let me just do that let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing that we have integrated with this particular project that is python error fix okay so since it is integrated with the public connect if I build a task here, Pabli Connect has to capture the data because at this point we have successfully integrated this project to Pabli Connect. So as to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, let me go to Pabli Connect and let me just click on this button capture webhook response. Click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on add task. Okay, so we are going to create a task. So the task name is uh, fix debugger in python okay so this is the task okay so this is the task fixed debugger in the task in python and we are going to assign this task to this guy called as error manual 1991 so he has been assigned this task and the due date we are keeping it as uh, let's say a random date 18 or oh, 16 march okay and then we have the description so the description is uh, uh, the debugger has failed due to faulty switches okay so this is the description so when i go back to public connect i can expect to find that uh, the data the this data has been captured by public connect so let's have a look okay so the api response is showing some kind of data has been captured so these are the data but where is our actual data I mean, where is our uh, task related details? For example, our task was fix, fix uh, debugger in Python and these are the details related to it like the assignee, the due date and of course the description. So where are those? So all those details are present in this particular address. So basically we have to uh, receive extract all the details from this particular address. Now to extract all the details, all these details present here from Public Connect, it's actually pretty easy. Just scroll down and click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Asana? Okay, Asana test. Now this time in the action event, how about we make it as get task, get a task. Okay, now in the action event, we have made it as get a task. All we have to do is connect with Asana. In the new credentials, just simply click on connect with Asana. Excellent. So it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. Now in the task ID, we basically have to map this particular ID. That is uh, this one. Okay. Event resource, this ID. So to do that, all we have to do is just click on this button. This button is called as the mapping button. When we click this, we will find all the data that is uh, present here uh, that we have received from Asana. So this is the resource. So where is our resource ID? So this is the one. Okay. So we have mapped it. Okay, so after mapping it, all we have to do is just click on save and send test request. Okay, so these are the rest of the details. So we have the assignee name. So this is the assignee name. And uh, well, this is the profile user. Okay, then we have the project that is a Python error fix. And this is the task name, fix debugger in Python. And this is, of course, the description. Excellent. So basically, we have to create a database in a Google Sheet. Now to do that, just click on this plus button. So when you click on this plus button, another action window opens up. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Sheets? Google Sheets. Okay, Google Sheets it is. Okay. Now coming to this part called as the action event, how about we make it as add new row? Okay, so add new row is an action event. There are many more action events like append values, update values, delete values, get row, update row, and so on. All of them are a bunch of action events. Now, just like the triggers, if you have trouble finding the action events according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate fabric.com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to send the data to create a new row in Google Sheet. Okay, so your next question is why we have kept the action event as add new row. So to explain you that, let me take you to my Google Sheet. So this is my Google Sheet. It has been titled Asana Task, Database and Analysis Modeling. So these are the columns I have, task name, allotted to, due date, as well as the nodes. So I want to append the data into Google Sheet into adjacent rows one by one. First, this row will be, the data will be inserted into this row, then it will be inserted into this row, then data will be inserted in this row and so on. So in the adjacent rows, the data will be inserted one by one. That is why I have kept the action event as add new row. So let me just click on connect with Google Sheet. In the new credentials, just click on connect with Google Sheets. 
okay so as you can see these are the series of gmail accounts i have and in this uh, particular gmail account we have this uh, google sheet that is asana task database and analyst modeling so this google sheet is present in this uh, particular uh, gmail account so i'm selecting this one okay so now public connect is asking me to confirm my choice so before i click on allow let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us okay so on the basis of that trust just press allow okay excellent so it is showing the authorization is successful just press ok okay so as you can see in the spreadsheet it is showing asana task database and analysis modeling now when we expand the list we can find all the uh, spreadsheet that is present in my google account in my gmail account so we are keeping with the default one that is asana task database and analysis modeling now in the sheet it is showing it as sheet one this is because there is only one sheet that is sheet one so that is being simply reflected here now in the task name let's start mapping so i have already introduced you to this button this is the mapping button so when we click this you will find all the data that we have received from asana so the task name was something related to python so let us check python error fix no this was the project so the title yes this is the task face debugger in python and this uh, task was uh, allotted to this guy called as aaron i think yeah so it was allotted to aaron now in the due date how about we make it as uh, how, how about we map the due date and uh, this is the notes so let me just uh, map in the notes so the note note was yes the debugger has failed to do faulty switches excellent so basically we have mapped all the details so when i click on save and send test request it will send this data to google sheet so let me do that let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing that the data has been sent so let's have a look okay so this is the data okay so the task name is uh, fixed debugger in python and it has been allotted to this guy called as aaron uh, aaron manual 1991 at the rate gmail.com and this is the due date and this is the notes okay excellent so there is something else i want to show you it's not completely over so let us uh, go and build one more task so the task name this time is uh, uh, for loop no i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry this is where we add the task for loop failed okay so to sort out this mess we are going to assign this uh, task to uh, let's say so how about we assign this task to jane okay we have assigned this task to jane and she has to complete this task by 20th of march 2021 and uh, the excessive use of four loops malfunctioned the system the excessive use of four loops malfunction the system okay so this is the task okay so we have uh, created a task along with the description the assignee as well as the due date so let's have a look in uh, google sheet what is uh, what it is showing okay so as you can see we do have the task name we do have the assignee that is uh, jane abdul 123 at the rate gmail.com but we don't have the data of the due date as well as the note so as you may remember we did take some time to uh, enter the due date as well as the description now uh, when the task gets created it automatically gets sent to public connect and by default it gets sent to google sheet but uh, due to the delay in uh, creating the allotee as well as the due date as well as the description the data related to these fields get uh, stuck so basically to send all of them in one batch we have to introduce a delay module so let me just introduce a delay module let me show you how it's done so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on the plus button here okay so we are going to introduce a delay module <coughs> so here we are going to introduce the delay module so in the choose app how about we make it as delay okay now the idea is that we are going to delay this uh, data flow for one minute okay so the delay value is uh, one let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing it has been delayed for one minute so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to just uh, refresh all of this okay so we are ready with this we are going to refresh this also okay so we have refreshed all of them okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add one more task the name of the task is um, while loop failed okay while loop failed 
Now we can add the rest of the details like assignee and all. So this time the assignee is Parker Divine and the due date we are giving him is on 24th till 24th of March 2021. And the description is uh, the for loop and while loop are creating a problem for debugging. Okay, creating a problem for creating a problem for debugging. Excellent. So this is the task. Okay, so we have created a task and we have created an assignee. Also set the assignee for due date that is 24th of March. Okay, so this time we have got the correct data. The while loop failed and this has been allotted to Parker Define 34 at the rate gmail.com and this is the due date 24th of March and this is the note for the for loop and while loop are creating a problem for debugging. Okay, so how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not. So how about we add uh, one more task. Uh, the task is uh, transistor failed transistor i'm sorry about the spelling transistor failed and uh, the assignee to sort of that sort out this mess is uh, jane abdul again and uh, she has to fix it by 15th of march quite a busy person she will be and uh, the description is uh, the transistor transistor should be brought from Croatia okay so this is the description and the input okay so this is the task that is trans transistor field so let's have a look do we have the data okay so as you can see the data hasn't arrived yet so this is because uh, we have uh, delayed the uh, data flow for one minute so let's have a look after one minute <laughs> let's actually wait for one minute okay so as you can see we have the data the correct data once again so the task name is transistor fail this is allotted to jane abdul and uh, this is the due date that is 15th of march 2021 and this is the note okay excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine this means anytime a new task in asana has been created it will be reflected as a uh, row or as a data in google sheets not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli connect if you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.